What's going on everybody? Today's our fourth Java tutorial. Yeah, let's give it up for the fourth Java tutorial. So today um, we're going to take a little step further with the programming. So um, you still should have your first Java or that fo the Java project we created from our last tutorial. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and make a class. So we're gonna um, right click on our source folder, which is our source code, as I told you in the last tutorial, and let's do new class. I'm gonna name this class temperature. Temperature conversion. Whoa. Temperature capital C conver conversion. All right, and there we go. So that's the name of our class is temperature conversion. It's pretty much stating what the program is going to do. So um, let's check that public static void and uncheck inherited master method, abstract methods, and let's finish. So there we go. So um, as we did in the last tutorial, let's get rid of that and let's get rid of that. So now give us some space. So now the thing is, we this is this program is going to be a little different. So let's start off with the beginning. The first thing we need to do when you're Asking well in this program we're doing a temperature temperature conversion, which pretty much in pseudocode language or regular English we're going to ask the user to input a Fahrenheit, um, a Fahrenheit number or or uh, or temperature, and we're going to have it converted to degrees in Celsius. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is is import. And what import does is it imports a a class. Or um, a object in Java. So we're going to do import Java dot util dot scanner to in scanner and end that with a semicolon and space. And there we go. So um, now we just imported the Java, which is where um, the class is located. Util is the class. And then scanner is the object. So what what scanner basically does is scanner actually reads the keyboard, or it reads for user input and scans for user input. All right. So the next thing we need to do is um we need to assign the scanner. So to assign a scanner, we're going to do scanner. Make it make sure it's caps. Java does recognize um cap sensitive stuff. So um let's do scanner. And we're gonna name it scanner, and let's name it reader because basically what you want to do is when you're making a scanner, you want the scanner to be named what it's doing. So if your scanner is reading something, it's pretty much smart. Well, majority of the time it is reading something, so majority of the time you pretty much want to name it reader. So we're gonna do scanner reader equals, and what equals is equals is basically an assignment operator. What it does is what well, is assignment operator. So what it does is it actually assigns the variable. Or whatever we're assigning is assigning it to a, a code or another object. So we're going to do scanner reader, and I'll get into more depth about assignment operators when we get to our next line of code. So let's do scanner reader equals. It's going to be um, equals new scanner. New scanner system dot in, and let's end up with semicolon. So what we just did is. Like I said, we made the scanner and we named the scanner reader. That's what it's doing is reading. And we're going to do a new scanner, which basically tells the um, Java is what it is. It's new scanner because it's actually, we're calling something, we're calling a scanner for a new part of the program. So, and it's going to be system.in. So it's basically telling the computer to actually store the information or receive the information into the system. So, the next thing we want to do is we want to pretty much make um, we need two variables, and we need when we're dealing with Fahrenheit or temperatures, we're going to be dealing with decimal numbers, right? So um, in Java there are um, different data types, and this is going to be a new numeric data type. So um, we have an integer, and an integer is basically a uh, it's actually a single number. It's like your one, two, three, or four, and then we have a double, which is your decimal numbers, like four point six. Um, 22.5 and all those numbers. So when we're dealing with Fahrenheit, we pretty much want to make both variables um, both doubles because we're gonna have decimals. So let's do a double 
and double is basically a floating point. It's a floating point number. So we're going to double, and double is actually variable, double, and let's name it um, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. And in that with a semicolon. So now we have a first variable, and now we need to make one more variable, double, and its name is from Celsius. Typo, excuse me. Celsius. All right, there we go. So now we have our two variables. We have our scanner, and we import our scanner. So hey, we're on a roll here. Let's keep going. So um, we have our two variables. Next thing we do is we're gonna tell the system to ask the user to input um, the Fahrenheit or the number they want to convert to Celsius. So let's do system. As I did, told you in our last tutorial, I, um, I kind of went in depth about what system.out did. So system.out.print line. And like we're going to ask the user, well, well, take that back. Let's do just do print. So when we do print, basically print leaves, print leaves the cursor at the end of the line of code. So when the user decides to type in the, um, the number, it won't type in the code on the next line. It will type in the code right on the end of the line of code. And you'll see what I'm talking about once we run the program. That's the difference between print and print line. Print line actually moves to the next line of code. Print actually waits for the user to input and leave the cursor at the end of the um, the string. So we're gonna do print parentheses, um, parentheses, and we're gonna quotations. We're gonna do enter, enter degrees, degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. There we go. So. Now we now we'll tell in this statement we're telling the user to enter degrees Fahrenheit. So that semicolon. So there we go. All right. Um. Next thing we do is next. Um. We have to actually specifically tell the system to actually um assign whatever the use once once the user mash enters we want that number to actually assign to Fahrenheit. We want that number to actually go into the variable called Fahrenheit. And remember, the variable changes, so it can be different. So every time you restart the program, the number is going to be different. So um, once they enter degrees, we wanted to actually put store that in the double the double Fahrenheit variable. And to do that, we want to do Fahrenheit, which is naming the variable Fahrenheit, and we're going to do equals. Well, um, yeah, we'll do equals, and then now we're about to call on our reader. And once we call in our reader, we call in the reader from the scanner class because we named that scanner, we named it reader. So let's call in the reader, 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 and then we're going to do next, next, double. So with now what we're doing is we just told the system to assign, to wait, we told it to read what the user inputs. Once they match enter, the scanner is going to read. Well, we name it reader. The scanner is going to read the next double, which is when the user match enters, it's going to read that double, and then it's going to equal it. It's going to equal it or assign it to Fahrenheit. All right. So there we go. So we just did that, and a smash enter, and um, the next thing we want to do is um, next thing we, we we need to actually um, now we have to make our we have pretty much have to make our um, code or our mathematic operations. So to do that, we need to do Celsius, and now we're about to assign Celsius to a to a uh, um, actual assignment code to actually allow it to convert it. So Celsius, Celsius equals, and so now we're telling Celsius that it's going to equal this. It's going to equal Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. Then you go Fahrenheit, and then basically, um, you could find the, you can find the formula or whatever on on you on the internet, whatever. Um, so that's why I found it in my book. So, um, Fahrenheit minus minus sign thirty two point zero. All right. So that's our first code. That's our first um formula. And when you when you're dealing with uh, temperature conversion and stuff like that, you pretty much just gotta um assign the formula. So we're gonna assign Celsius the conversion. So Celsius, Celsius, Celsius is actually gonna when that user match enters, Celsius is gonna it's gonna do Fahrenheit minus thirty two, and it's gonna equal that Celsius variable, and then it's gonna go times 
which is star in Java is an asterisk for times in Java times 5.0 divided by which is a slash divided by 9.0 and in that in the semicolon and there we go so we just made our assignment we just made our formula for the Celsius conversion so once you smash enter that Celsius we're basically telling the Celsius to equal the formula so the Celsius right now is going to equal that formula every time the user match enter so there we go we have the formula and the next thing we want to do is now we need to actually display the we need to display the user or we need to actually display the code to the user and we need to tell them hey the the degree in in Celsius or the equivalent in Celsius is blah 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 so here we go so now we need to do system like we always do system dot out dot print line so now we're going back to the print line or you know what let's just do print for now because we want that actual we want the answer to be at the end of the stream so we need to do a print quotations and we need to do the equivalent caps the equivalent in Celsius is blank so when we leave that blank here is basically um what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to put the the Celsius into that blank so because the line of code is going to end right there it's going to put the Celsius answer right there so we're going to do that and then we're going to do plus Celsius or you know what um it's kind of an easy way let me show you the difficult way for for now um, let's do the equivalent in Celsius is and I'm gonna do make another system dot out dot print line because we want that code to go to the next line go and then we're gonna put the variable in the parentheses instead of putting the string we'll put the variable Celsius so there we go so we just wrote the code for a temperature conversion program now let's run it see how it goes Okay, so there we go. Enter degrees Fahrenheit. So let's do uh, 145 degrees. Let's do 145 degrees. Enter. There we go. The equivalent in Celsius is 62.7777777778. And there we go. So you just pretty much made your first um, your first temperature conversion. So hey, clap it up for yourself. Hey, good job. Um, so let's test it out one more time just to make sure. You always want to text it twice to make sure. Let's do uh, let's do eighty six point seven. Oh, wow, there we go. The equivalent of Celsius is thirty point thirty three eight 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 nine. So um, we just made our third tutorial in Java and basically we made a temperature conversion. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time.